Hello, 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 hello. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we dive into today's thing inside the box video, I just wanna say a big, big thank you for all your positive feedback on my latest thing inside the box videos where I try to learn how to play the electrical bread bass. And it was a lot of fun, but it was also really, really painful. But so many of you really seem to enjoy Happy Nikki and my all about their bass cover. So thank you very much for your feedback. That obviously makes me really, really happy. And here's a little spoiler for you. You're gonna see an even happier Nikki in today's video. It gets very springy and fun, so I hope you enjoy it. And I'll say without further ado, let's check out the box. Here's my new box, everyone. It always feels like Christmas when I get new boxes. And this one is very exciting because it is quite small. It isn't even that heavy, but it's still got like quite a weight to it. So I can throw it around, oh, I can lift it. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> Let's unbox the box together. Ba, ba, da, ba. I can't see anything. I just had a little glimpse inside the box and it's not an instrument this time. It is actually something Geary, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not the best at techie stuff, so I'm a bit nervous. But first, we have got the challenge. <laughs> Dear Nicole, so good to see that you liked our electric or brake bass. Again, it was a lot of fun watching you. A job well done. Thank you so much. As I already mentioned in our last challenge letter, our aim for you is to replace every single band in the world on your own. So, here's your next challenge. Learn to play the loop station and compose a song. Please integrate every instrument which you already played within Thing Inside the Box. We're excited about your own composition and looking forward to watching you. Lovely groups, your Tormund team. Oh my god. Goodness, that's gonna be a lot of work then. Um, but I'm so excited about the loop station. I've always, always, always wanted to learn how to use a loop station ever since I saw Ed Sheeran use it for the very first time in my life. We've got another little box in here, which is a professional performance microphone. You can see it first. <laughs> There's a microphone cable in here as well. Here's the loop station and it says outstanding live performance for avant-garde loopers. It is the loop station RC505. <laughs> My favorite part, look how thick this manual is. a lot of fun to just press these buttons. I think I'm gonna plug in the microphone and follow my intuition. We've seen it before that I've made a million mistakes because I didn't read the manual very carefully um, but I'm just very excited to try this thing out. I've set everything up and uh, I've got the menu right in front of me. Now you can hear me talking through a microphone, that is very weird. What I've learned so far is that you can record on a single track or you can record on multiple tracks and I would really like that multiple track recording. Track one, <laughs> I'm so nervous. Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay, how do I stop this? Play track one. Let's do it again. excited about it. It's so much fun already, although I have zero knowledge about it. 
But it's such a beautiful day today, so sunny and warm that I think we should go out and get some inspiration for the song we're about to write because I thought it's spring, finally. Why not write like a very fun, sunny, bright spring song together? So that's what we're gonna do, but first let's go outside and... <laughs> Got the first leaves on the tree. So exciting. Hello, my friends, and welcome to my kitchen. Unfortunately, spring has decided to leave us again. It is so dark and grey outside today, but that's okay. I'm going to patiently wait for its return and we can learn how to use a loop station in the meantime. My tulips look really sad today. I don't know if they're just outgrowing the vase or if they're dying. I don't know. Either way, I've got the manual right here and there's a lot written in this manual, but I think it's quite easily explained. And then we've got the loop station right here. Alrighty, I'm going to press power. I love that little light party that is going on whenever you press power. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. So I just found like this page over here, which is like a basic operation guide. It says recording, overdub, playback and clear. Say hello. Does that work? Oh, there we go. Hi. So the great thing is you've got five tracks, so you can record on all five tracks separately, but then you can also overdub. So if you've recorded something on track one, but you want to add like a harmony, for example, I'm a sucker for harmonies, and then you can just overdub your recording. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Every time I press the button, I'm like, oh. <laughs> You can um, set the tempo with the, this little thing right here. 120 beats per minute. And then you can either just have like a click or, which I think is really fascinating. I haven't tried that out yet. You can have like a rhythm. So press the rhythm edit button. record something and you want to keep it for another day you can actually save all the tracks and you can also transfer them to your computer and you can also if you've got something on your computer and you would like to have it on your loop station you can also transfer it to the loop station which is insane i'm ready to just do a little loop uh with an original song I might do one of my faves which is called what if I like this one. Are we ready? I don't know. you actually have to stop the recording to not overdub it so that was a fail <laughs> Jesus Christ I always tap the recording button One. Oh 
dramatic but I could literally cry right now I'm so happy this is honestly such a big dream of mine coming true it is honestly incredible you can actually edit the things you record so you can put different effects on it go check it out if you are a singer songwriter or if you are a singer or if you guitarist or if you whatever really get this lucid <laughs> it is so much fun i'm so happy and now i'm gonna try and save this uh so i can do it again tomorrow Today we're gonna try to write a song with a loop station, which I've never done before, and I couldn't be more excited. Alrighty, I got my song book, and I've got my phone because I've asked on Instagram what you love the most about spring, and I've got so many great answers, so thank you for the inspiration. I've got my ukulele, my guitar over there, and the loop station down here, which you can't really see, but I'm so excited. Oh. Now, We'll have to go to In It Memory 2, blank space, and we're gonna write a song. Okay, whoo! <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Kinda sounds like dirty dancing, doesn't it? play the guitar for two measures it automatically goes on to the overdub genius okay <laughs> I've already got the music and this is honestly so great for songwriting you can just record a loop and have the best time of your life bloody love it now we're going to move on to the lyrics lots of people saying sunshine obviously Flowers, colours, birds, sun, I've got the smell, leaving the house without a jacket, I love finally be able to ride the motorcycle, <laughs> I love that one. Cool, great, I can work with that, let's do it. Breaking news, I think I found the chorus. Hey my friends, little spring update. We've got very stormy weather today, so it's sunny and then it's pouring it down with rain and then it's sunny again and rainy very interesting weather i'm reunited with all of my instruments that i've learned in the past couple of months oh. <laughs> got a new haircut this morning finished writing yesterday's song and i didn't film any of it good job <laughs> All right. 
Alrighty, this is the moment we've been waiting for. The loop station is down here, uh, so I can press the buttons with my foot. <laughs> yes! I'm surrounded by instruments and a plant that I just hit. I'm very sorry. I'm gonna try and figure out what I can play on each instrument. What's next? I don't know. Uh, back with a tuned violin. Can you actually believe it? <laughs> so difficult to tap with your foot and then play at the same time. Ah! I obviously don't want to give too much away so I'm going to stop right here but I'm actually quite proud of myself that I managed to get a sound out of the saxophone and that I didn't forget how to play the violin. Not that I was able to play the violin in the first place. But I think the first thing inside the box video was like six months ago now, which is a very long time. So though I know I will have to spend a lot more time practicing uh, for the second part of the challenge. I cannot wait. I love this thing so, so much. It is incredible. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it every single day from now on. Um, it's so much fun. It is so helpful, useful, and I would highly, highly recommend checking it out especially if you're on a hunt for a new loop station or you want to spice up your music life. I'll link it down below in the info box, so definitely make sure you check it out. I love it and I cannot wait for part two of the challenge. It's either going to be an absolute disaster or it's going to be so much fun. We shall see, but if you don't want to miss it, then please make sure you subscribe. Thank you so, so much to Torman for working with me on this video. Thank you for the challenge. Make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. I think that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.